Okay, quick side project. So I've got a Arduino hooked up to an Ethernet shield, and it's powered by this 12 volt power supply. Um, and I've got an RGB LED light strip running off of it outside. Um, so I'm going to turn this on, and we step outside. So I've got it buried in the snow out here. Um, this was something that I was curious about. What would happen if you buried an LED light strip in the snow? Would it diffuse nicely? And it turns out it does. It works really well. Um, you can't see the individual pixelization or pixelation at all, really, um, as long as it's under about a couple inches of snow. So, what's happening is um, the Ethernet shield is connecting to Twitter right now, and it's doing a search of all tweets within a 15 mile radius of my house. And then, so that signal right there means we just got an IP address, um, and now it's going to make the server request. So it's searching Twitter for every tweet within 15 miles of here, um, and then it puts them into the Alchemy API. Alchemy, if you're not familiar, is a service that will do um, natural language processing, and so um, I'm using their like free trial version or whatever to do sentiment analysis. So it takes all of the tweets within a 50 mile radius of here and then tries to determine if the general sentiment of that text is positive or negative. And then I get a number out of that and I plot that number. And there we go. So that was the number being plotted. And what you're seeing is in white is the average positive sentiment um, in my city. I experiment with lots of different ways to do this, to try to plot the number in an accurate way. And uh, what I ended up deciding was using sort of a differential comparison. So it looks at the last um, sentiment number and then tries to decide um, how much it's changed since the last time it queried Twitter, which it does this in, I think, five or ten minute increments to stay below the um, threshold that the free trial for the Alchemy API allows. Um, so since this is, we just powered it up, this is the first time that it's um, picked a number, it always ends up being about halfway because I just say the last um, sentiment for the first time to compare it against is just 50-50. So it looks like um, we're slightly more positive than 50-50 right now, which is pretty good. Um, maybe that's because it's a little warmer today than it's been <laughs> the past week. Right now it's about 20 degrees outside. and the last week it's been about 8 degrees with the wind chill all the way down to like negative 35 at night. So I guess people are slightly happy about that or who knows maybe it has nothing to do with that. This is about, this is not very much snow at all. There's the strip and see it doesn't take much until you can start to see the individual lights but just a little bit of fluff over the top and it fades really nicely. One thing I have noticed about this is um, when it's very, very cold outside, much colder than it is now, um, occasionally individual LEDs will begin to fail. When they warm up again, they start working, and this is literally the cheapest RGB addressable strip you can get from China, so that's not that surprising. Um, but it really only works when it's moderately cold. So anyway, this is kind of a quick project I threw together that I thought would be interesting. And uh, now, as people drive by, they can see the current emotional state of the city. Of course, they have no idea that that's what this is, but I know that's what it is. So there we go.